Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can head there. We posted something the other day. You can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual, and Spotify as well. And just enjoy the content that we're putting out. Let us know what you want us to talk about, and we'll be more than glad to talk about it. Just have an open mind when you talk about whatever you talk about and we have a patreon account which you guys can feel free to become members and will appreciate um a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys are doing is very very much appreciated like i said in my last video i'm so so grateful for you guys so thank you for subscribing and just thank you for always watching our videos so today i'm going to be reacting to what is the Quran, Dr. Gary Wills? So without wasting time, let's get into the video. What is the Quran? It is a set of 7th century revelations from God made to Muhammad in two cities, Mecca and Medina, in what is now Saudi Arabia. It heralds the truth that there is only one God, not the many gods still being worshipped in ancient Arabia. Of course, this was not the earliest revelation that there is only one God. That had been taught in Hebrew to the Jews and in Greek to the Christians before it was taught to Muslims in Arabic. These three sets of revelation set apart the people of the book, each with their own special covenant from the same God. There is only one. We believers in one God are on the same team, as it were, and should protect one another's places of worship, listed in the Quran as monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, where God's name is much invoked. The Quran does not confine God's action to the formal covenants of religion. God tells us that he sends messages to all men all the time, beginning with Adam, who repented his sin in the garden and became the first prophet. The unending stream of prophets includes Moses and Jesus. Muhammad himself is the seal of the prophets, not as canceling former covenants, but as confirming them. But the love of God is not brought only by human messengers in the Quran. Creation itself is a set of messages from God, which speak a divine code that we are told to decipher. God's intent can be seen in the beauty and power of the universe. Moses does not speak alone on the mountain. The mountain speaks with him. Birds speak to Solomon. The world is constantly signaling to us, bringing us insights into the beauty and power of its maker. This should call us to a reverence for God's handiwork, an important message for our ecologically challenged era. The Quran has more of poetry in it than of legislation. It sets ethical norms while stressing the need for mercy in our dealing with God's fellow creatures. Force is allowed only for self-defense and never as a way of spreading religion. Commercial dealings with fellow Muslims or with non-Muslims should be meticulously fair and never extortionate. The relations of the sexes were still polygamous in the 7th century, as among the ancient Hebrews and the original Mormons, but women are to be honored. In fact, the dowry that was paid to a husband's family by the bride's family in Europe was paid in the Quran directly to the bride, and she retains this bride right even if the husband divorces her or if she divorces him. This carved out an area of women's rights unparalleled in the 7th century. The Quran is a book of many levels and great depths. 
Even non-Muslims can learn from it, as Pope Francis has proclaimed. I am Gary Wills for the Amerstein Center. What a beautiful video and beautiful message. This was interesting. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. I mean, this. I, I don't even think I should even speak. Otherwise, I like the fact that here yeah, I am speaking. But I like the fact that he said um, Jews, Christians, Muslims should all pr protect each other or places of worship. At, at the, that's, this is what I say. At the end of the day, we believe in one God. Despite the different religions that we're following or you're following, we still believe in one God. That's what matters. We're all humans. Just because I preach something else, um, I mean, just because I follow a different religion from you doesn't make me less of a person to you. It's 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 a, it's all about character and how you put out your message. They imagine just being, oh, fine, that's a Muslim. I accept them for who they are. That's a Christian. I accept them for who they are. That's a um, Jew. I accept them for who they are. When we come together from this friendship you find that there is more to learn from each other we have more things in common than we have differences and that can be the reason as to why maybe someday i feel like mm, maybe this is my religion because we've created this friendship that um heightens the way i think maybe whatever the case is otherwise this was very very amazing a big shout out to the person that said this if there's something you want us to react to drop the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video you